one vegetable that many hesitate to eat because of its bitterness. The recipe that I'm going to show today is a wonderful recipe that can be enjoyed by everyone at home. So let's get started and check out the recipe. This is stuffed bitter gourd. I've taken about half kg of bitter gourd. I've taken medium sized bitter gourds. Cut the top and end. Make a slit in the center. Now I'm going to remove the seeds. Now that I've removed all the seeds, I'm going to rub the bitter gourd with some salt. I have not scraped out the exterior skin, I've retained it. Now if you want to scrape off the exterior skin, you can, it's optional. Make sure you rub the bitter gourd inside and outside. So rubbing salt into the bitter gourd reduces the bitterness to a certain extent. It will not remove the bitterness entirely, it will only reduce it to a certain extent. Keep this aside for about 20 minutes. We're going to make a masala powder for this. One tablespoon coriander seeds. 1 tablespoon cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon fennel seeds, half teaspoon kalonji seeds, quarter teaspoon fenugreek seeds. Dry roast the ingredients for about 2 to 3 minutes till you get a nice aroma. So the ingredients are roasted, turn off the stove, cool them completely. Transfer the roasted ingredients to the mixer jar. One tablespoon of dry mango powder or amchur powder, two teaspoons red chilli powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon acetate powder. Grind everything together. Take a white pan and one tablespoon of mustard oil. If you don't have mustard oil, you can use regular refined oil. To this, I'm going to add two medium sized onions finely chopped. Fry the onions till they are a nice golden brown colour. To this, I'm going to add half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Now add the ground masala powder. I'm adding about 3 tablespoons. You can adjust the masala powder according to the filling. To this, I'm going to add half teaspoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of sugar. This is just to balance the flavours. It's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to rinse the salt and bitter gourd a few times. Take a little bit of the filling. I'm going to just tie it with a string. This is just to keep it together while frying so that it doesn't open up. To the same pan, pour 2 tablespoons of mustard oil. Once the oil is hot, place the stuffed bitter gourd one by one. Keep the flame on medium and roast the stuffed bitter gourd. Now finally, after the bitter gourd is nicely fried and cooked, I'm going to sprinkle the masala powder. So finally, I'm just going to sprinkle a little salt. Give it a quick mix. Turn off the stove and serve the stuffed bitter gourd nice and hot. There you go, here is this absolutely delicious stuffed bitter gourd. Uh, I'm sure you all can try and it's a great accompaniment for some dal and rice. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 frames.